in Philadelphia and the first game of the 2001 NBA playoffs here this afternoon. Allen Iverson this year became, as a scoring leader, the first 30-plus point-per-game score in the NBA in five years, the first since Michael Jordan. The real strength of the team, though, for Philadelphia has been all season long. Everybody else has played alongside with Allen Iverson. Right now, On NBC at 1230. All season long, NBA scoring champion Allen Iverson has carried the offensive burden for the 76ers. In the 71 games he played, Iverson led the team in scoring 64 times. Now, the playoffs are here. The games are more intense, more physical, and points are at a premium. Iverson's teammates know he can't do it all by himself. You can't, you know, spend 10 seconds trying to find Allen. You got to hit the open man when he's open, and, and, and everybody else got to be ready to make plays. Since they're going to double Allen, we have to be able to make those guys, uh, you know, pay. You know, either swinging the ball or somebody else, you know, being able to create and, and you know, get other guys open. If Allen gives us everything else that we talk about, the offense will come because he'll get easier opportunities um, with us getting stops. Even if Iverson gets offensive support, he has to shoot better than he has in the last two playoff series against Indiana. In a total of 10 games, Iverson shot only 38% from the field. Now let's go to Craig Steger. And we're a five seed, the feet of four, Charlotte, but then the Pacers knocked him out for the second straight year. This time around, they meet up with the Pacers in round one, and they go in as the number one seed in the conference. Cheryl Miller spent a little time with MVP in waiting Allen Iverson and touched on a number of topics. His relationship with Larry Brown, the prospect, uh, once upon a time, of playing in the NFL, and just why he blew off Craig Sager last week. Allen is finally getting dressed. Alan, can you talk to us live real quick? Alan. Alan, can we get you real quick? Well, we're live. <laughs> Excuse me. Well, anyway, EJ, any questions you have for us? Alan, obviously, a couple days ago, Craig Sager is waiting patiently to interview you after the Miami game. Uh, you guys were supposed to go live. It never happened. Please tell me you would never, ever leave me hanging like that. <laughs> I was trying to get my um, personal hygiene together, but I guess, you know, he couldn't wait for me. So when I got everything together, finished brushing my teeth, putting on my deodorant, I came back out. And he was like, that's all right, we got a um, reporter to do it. So I was like, it's cool. Rumor has it you were a heck of a football player in high school. Any chances of you playing in the NFL? Never. I don't think so. I know I used to always tell my dad that I wouldn't play basketball because I thought it was soft. And now I'm finding out that basketball is not that soft, you know, getting knocked down to the ground, all these injuries, everything. But it was my first love, and I cared about, you know, football more than anything. But, you know, with me getting incarcerated and everything and having a chance to get up under Coach Thompson's wing, you know, it was an opportunity that I couldn't pass up. And um, I used to go to basketball practice and see the guys going to football practice. And I used to just look at them with tears in my eyes. One day I just got the nerve to go up to Coach Thompson and ask him, could I play football? And I can't say on the air what he said to me. <laughs> but after that point, I knew I'd never play football again. As you know, Alan is my prodigal son, and we have an understanding with one another. So I had to communicate with him at the tone level that he would understand, in the language that he would understand that if I so much as even saw him walk across a football field on his way to the dormitory, that I would kill him. If you look at this season, what would you think about you being named MVP, Coach Brown walking away with Coach of the Year award, especially after looking at your past history, and it's been rocky at times with Coach Brown. Definitely. I mean, it would be a storybook ending, you know, for Coach to get an award, you know, like that and myself as well but um, I think you know we want um, the trophy you know that's that's everything we've been talking about that's the um, you know that was the um, most important agenda it's just winning the championship people closer to you have always said that you're a very generous human being um, what was your initial reaction when you had found out that John Croce had not only stolen from you, but some of your teammates? You know, I've forgiven him for it. You know, um, by him going through everything that he's going through now, it's going to hurt him more than anything. And I think, you know, that'll help him, you know, later on in life. 
past two seasons, uh, the Indiana Pacers obviously have knocked you guys out of the playoffs, and lo and behold, you guys are playing them in the first round. Any concerns about playing them? Uh, that's the way you want to draw it up. That's the way you draw it up. You know, the Pacers beat you. Um, beat me my first year in the playoffs. Then they beat me my second year in the playoffs. And now people are talking about us as contenders. They never talked about us winning it all in the first two seasons. Now, you know, um, this is the third time we've been in the playoffs. And, you know, people are saying we can do it. And I feel like there's no other way to win it but to go by Indiana. People's perception of you have really changed this season. You are now being viewed as a team leader, a contender, an MVP, you know, award okay. winner. And it's unfair because it's all, it has a lot to do with winning. You know, I always said that, you know, from day one. You know, I was always the same guy. I was always, um, you know, um, an outgoing person. You know, um, when I came to the league, I was 20, 21 years old, and people wanted me to act like I was 35 because I had a 35-year-old game. The thing about me and what make me happy about my myself is I can look in the mirror and say I maintain who I was the whole time I've been in the league and I